blue wine. Whoa, look at those colours, fantastic. Cabbage on acid is freaking awesome. Even better on alkali. Peel up on science. Better get stuck into this washing up. Some soap. Whoa. Blue wine. Well, that was quite a party last night. Dal, who brought the blue wine last night? Wait, that's still red. And the leftover cabbage is blue too. I think there's something going on here to do with the soap. It's an alkali. Why don't we try a bit of acid, lemon juice, and see if we can make this wine, save this wine's life. Hey, there we go. Pink again. What about the cabbage? Bit of lemon. Whoa, look at those colors, fantastic. This cabbage juice sure wants to vote yes. I never thought I'd say it, but I think cabbage juice might be cooler than red wine. The chemicals that give wine and cabbage their colour are called anthocyanins, complex molecules with three benzene rings. Their electrons are shared amongst the rings. The colour is to do with how these electrons absorb light and jump to more excited energy levels. As the acidity changes, the structure changes slightly, which affects how the electrons move around the molecule. This shifts the energy levels and alters which colours the molecules absorb. That's quantum physics, yeah! Okay, let's check out what happens to the colour with these structure changes. We need to get some anthocyanins out of some fresh cabbage. I have a feeling our quantum cabbage is going to look really cool. Okay, now we've got our cabbage juice, this lovely purple colour, but let's try it out with a bunch of different household chemicals. Use it as an indicator to work out how acid or base things are. So let's start with a lemon, lemon juice. Oh, that changes pretty quickly. That's the citric acid. Some vinegar. Oh, that's changed pink too. That's the acetic acid in vinegar. A controversial one, an egg. So egg white is in contact with the eggshell, which is made of calcium carbonate. So I think the white might actually be a surprisingly alkaline material. Taking a while to mix up there but it's definitely blue. Hand soap. Yep, the soap's blue as well. Bicarb soda. Oh, look at the blue getting into the powder there straight away. And a few floaty bits of cabbage, ew. And Dishwashing detergent for the dishwasher. That's the strong stuff. Well, that's changing straight away. That's gone green. Taking a while to dissolve. Oh, that looks like it's gonna go even further. Oh, here we go, look at that. Wow, that's a real yellow color. So here they all are with a control. The lemon juice and the vinegar are both around pH two. That's more sort of four, pH four. The egg white is actually unusual because it's an alkali. Most foods are in the acid end of things, but it's actually about pH nine, the same as the soap and the bicarb. They're all pH nine. The dishwashing powder is about pH of 12. That means it's got not much H plus, which is the acidic component, 
has lots of OH minus hydroxide. So pH 12 to pH 9, which is these ones, that's a pH jump of 3. So that means that it's got 10 to the 3 times more acid, more H plus in it. So a thousand times more acid. By the time you're up to these ones, which are pH 2, that's a pH jump of 10. So that means 10 to the 10 times more acid in lemon juice or vinegar than in the dishwashing powder. That's 10 billion times more H plus. But a billion fold change in acidity is no problem to an anthocyanin. Doesn't explode. It just changes color. Build up on science. Hey, there we go. It's red wine again. Good enough to... Actually, I might go a cup of tea.